Fuji music is one of the most important music genres to have come out of West Africa. Um, its roots are primarily traced to Nigeria, particularly the southwest region of Nigeria. Uh, the genre has had many evolutions um, over the last seven decades. Um, we've ascribed it to 1950s um, through another genre called Were. Were was essentially um, Islamic Muskins during Ramadan. And what then happened was, at the end of every Ramadan, um, the local monarchs and the local clerics would do these competitions where you know young aspiring weary performers would sort of compete for supremacy. Now the boys and girls who won would then sort of have a career in another genre called Sakara. Now Sakara was very short-lived in, in the 1960s, uh, but towards the end of the late 60s, um, a lot of the Sakara performers were in, experimenting with different instruments, and then that sort of evolved into something called Fuji. So Fuji didn't actually emerge till like the early 1970s. Um, now, over the last sort of five, six decades, it's taken many evolutions. Um, there's been so many players who have created incredible, iconic music that have sort of influenced contemporary pop music. And, you know, I don't think there's a better reference to the influence of Fuji than what we have now called Afrobeat. Uh, because the bedrock of Afrobeat sonically is embedded in Fuji. We've designed a 10-day exhibition um, where people can come um, and we really encourage everybody to come. Um, it's really an edutainment exhibition, if I'm honest, and we've also curated it so that it's family orientated because I've always said that it's an opportunity for us to learn a lot about African culture, it's an opportunity for us to learn about Nigerian history uh, because you can't tell the story of Fuji without detaching it from those two things. So it's really an edutainment exhibition. Um, it's over four floors, so we're very proud of that. And as you go through, there's several installations um, and opportunities for you to truly immerse yourself. So we encourage as many people to come and experience at the Africa Center. I'm very big on sound by nature, I'm a big music geek, um, so for me it's the instruments. Um, so for example, we have a mic installation downstairs, um, you know, which is an ode to a, culture, a subculture called Fuji Jump that used to happen in the 70s where Fuji artists would battle each other, almost like battle raps. Now we are showing 29 microphones. Those microphones are over 30 years old and they've essentially been donated to us by some of the artists who participated in Fuji Jump. Some of them are dead, some of them are alive today. So those microphones have a lot of heritage. So I'm particularly fond of those microphones. There's so much history in them. Okay. And even when I touch it, I get sort of goosebumps. <laughs> 